Hi guys, Neon EUC here, and I'm here to tell you about the Gotway MCM4, which I have right here. Um, now, before I do that, I just want to quickly say a big thank you to Greg Goodbarn from Yorkshire Airwheel Limited, um, and also to Dale Walker from the Wheel Deal Australia. Now, the reason why is because uh, Dale Walker put me in touch with Greg Goodbarn um, ages ago, and we became friends. And anyway, um, I was actually quite surprised when I actually received this parcel. Now, I wasn't expecting it at all. Uh, I had a very, very nice letter uh, to go with it, saying, you know, uh, Grey Goodbarn was really happy with, you know, the work that I've been carrying out. And he just wanted to say thank you and send me a gift, which was absolutely fantastic, and I really do appreciate that. So what I do, I will give links at the bottom anyway, uh, for both companies where you can get these from. Um, if you live in the UK, then obviously you can get it from uh, Grey, Good Barn. If you live in Australia, you can actually get it from Dale Walker, but they do both ship out internationally as well. So uh, a quick rundown of what the uh, Gotway is capable of. Now the speed goes up to 36 kilometers per hour, which is about uh, 22 miles per hour. Also the weight, not too heavy, 16.5 kilograms. The motor is 800 watts, which is pretty powerful, I can tell you that. And the battery is a really generous 340 watts. Now, out of that battery, I've got about two hours riding. Now, that was going uphill, and it did handle uphill, no problems at all. So, I'll give a quick lowdown on how else it copes. Um, but let's take a quick look at the machine and to show you what it's like. Okay, so here we have it, the Gotway MCM4 in all its glory. Now, there are a few little touches that I like. Um, first of all is where it says got weight on the pedal. Nicely engraved, looks very, very sweet. And then as I open up the pedal, you can see the grips are really, really quite nice. They're like uh, red little stripes. So um, it looks smart and it actually works very, very well. So now to turn it on, just got to hold down the button for a few seconds. And there we go. Now, one good thing, uh, which I haven't mentioned yet, is that not only do you have to charge socket, you have a little USB here. So if I can just get that open, and there we go. So now you can charge up your phone, um, <laughs> really, while you're riding. So that's very, very handy. I really like that feature. So, so we've got the lights. It's at the front here. Uh, sorry, that's the back. This is the front because you've got the uh, the battery indicators and it's fully charged at the moment. Now, a uh, good thing about this as well is you can actually change the lights, which um, you just press the button once and then you've got all these kind of lights. So that's just one of the lights. And yet again, it goes all the way around from the back as well. So if I turn it around, you can see it goes all the way around the shell. So that's just one of the lights. Um, then you've got this one here. So, <laughs> it looks really, really flash, doesn't it? And it looks so nice at night. And then this is one of my favourites. Um, very simple, but, you know, it's a bit of a night rider feel to it. Oh, how about that then? And it's the same for the back as well, as you can see. And then, of course, if you don't want any of that, you can just go full, you know, with the lights full on. So it's very, very nice. Now, another thing I want to point out is the padding. On the side, it's some kind of spongy foam material. Now, this makes it extremely comfortable to ride. I've enjoyed it so much. Um, and it's just such a pleasure to ride. And, you know, um, I've, I've got nothing bad to say to this machine at all. It is, you know, it's definitely my favorite machine that I've ridden, uh, I have to be honest. And uh, what we're going to do, we're going to just quickly take a look at uh, some of the apps to give you an idea on how it works. Okay, so here we have the uh, Gotway app. It's the official app. Now, first of all, you've got to make sure Bluetooth is turned on. It's actually got Bluetooth already activated automatically on the uh, Gotway uh, electric game cycle. So you just tap what you want. And then you've got to tap the Bluetooth symbol here. And now it's connected. So it gives you all the information. So if I just try and hold it steady and I will rock back on the wheel. There we go. It tells you, you know, how fast you're going to go and so forth. And if I wanted to change anything, 
then uh, obviously go to settings. So I'm gonna do the um, what should I do? The uh, tilt back settings. And if I press uh, one of these here, you can see it's actually registering, and it says send success. So that's something that I actually do like, you know. Um, tilt back settings. You know, you've got the calibration, you've got the alarm. The lights, um, obviously it ain't gonna work, um, because it doesn't actually do the lights on the uh, machine. It, you know, if you've got one of the um, gotways that has a front light, that's what it actually works on. It doesn't actually work on these uh, show-off lights, as it called. So that's the official gotway app. Um, I don't actually use this one, to be honest. I actually use this one called Real Log, and this is absolutely fantastic. You know, it tells you everything as well, um, as well as the speed and your battery. Uh, you can see the battery flickering between 100 and 99. It does that when you're moving as well. Um, you know, it's just kind of it's powering up, but it's not moving. So it is, it is going to flicker, but you know, you get a rough estimate on uh, what it is. Um, you've got your overall uh, mileage as well, uh, total distance 48.43 at the time being. A little graph here tells you about your speed and whatnot. Um, and you do have some settings here, like your alarm settings, speed settings. Speed settings is just really about, you know, uh, if you want to switch it from kilometers to miles per hour or vice versa. Uh, log settings, you can get it to upload it to the cloud, which is absolutely fine. Alarm settings, same thing as the Gotway app. Yet again, it doesn't uh, register, which uh, I'll talk more about that later on. Okay, guys, so there we have it. And as you can see, it's really, really nice, especially the lights. I just love the feature on that. Now, I did actually take it for uh, a bit of a run with my uh, group, the uh, official London Electric Unicycle Club. And we went everywhere, all over London, Hyde Park, and I did actually push this to the test, you know, I really did go as far as I can on it. And uh, it went uphill, no problems. Grass, really easily, it even went through sand. Um, you know, uh, uneven pavements, roads with potholes, not a single issue. Usually I thought if I go for a pothole, I'm gonna jump forwards and it throw me off balance. Not a problem at all, it just really glided over it. And also, one uh, pleasing aspect as well, I mean, that's getting really, really slow through uh, a packed crowd, you know, London's gonna be full of tourists. I went at walking speed, and nine times out of 10, when I do that, I have to quickly, you know, like juggle the unicycle between my legs, you know, left to right, you know, rocking it to keep upright. With this one, I didn't. There's something about the, either the motor or the battery, I went really, really slow, and it just, it was upright. Even at walking distance, it just stayed upright. I didn't have to rock it backwards and forwards between my legs at all. Very, very, you know, pleasant experience. Now, um, there is like a, a little bit of a, a bad point to this. Um, not massive problem at all. The first one is charging. Now, I was not aware of this, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you may not be aware. Usually when you charge up the electric beam cycle, you know, you put the plug into the electric beam cycle, then you put it in a wall and turn it on. Uh, the Gotway doesn't like that. Um, even if it isn't plugged into the wall, if you just get the um, socket and you plug it into the electric beam cycle, it will spark. I didn't know this. Uh, very good bun said no, that will happen. And I've actually uh, checked out other videos and they've confirmed it as well. So I know for a fact it's not a faulty uh, product. So what you have to do, you have to put the uh, charger in the plug socket first, turn it on, and then attach it to your electric unicycle. Very important to remember that. If not, you will get a little bit of a spark, as I did. So, not really a massive issue, um, but something that you do need to be aware of when you charge it up. So that's the first thing. The second thing is actually with the Gotway app. Um, I'm not too, you know, pleased or uh, impressed with it as such because some features don't uh, want to be compatible with my uh, device. Now, it's not the actual machine itself, it is the app, and I've read on so many forums about this. Basically, what happens is, some features work. You know, I can um, recalibrate my electric unicycle, so if I do think it's a little bit off balance, recalibrate it, fine, perfect, works, no uh, problems. 
Um, the pedals, you've got three different kind of settings for it. You've got soft, medium, or hard. Soft is really spongy. You step on it and it just rocks backwards and forwards before you even go. Medium, the same, but not quite as much. And hard, doesn't rock at all when you step on it. That's the way I like it, to be honest. Um, yeah, so about the app. Uh, one of the things that don't really uh, work is the alarms. Um, I tried setting the alarm off at a low speed because I just wanted to test the app out and it just didn't want to do it. And I've tried different speeds, uh, but when the alarm goes off, it just didn't do it. But, you know, the main ones are there. Um, so, yeah, I can, you know, recalibrate it and change the pedals. So, anyway, guys, I do hope uh, you find this interesting in this video. If there's any questions, do please leave it in the comments below. Give a thumbs up. Uh, you can also get me on YouTube with me on EUC. And like I said, I will give links to the companies uh, down below that I've mentioned as well. So, thanks for watching, guys. And, and yeah, look forward to seeing you soon. Cheers.